hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video we are going to talk about hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides so hydrocarbon is the result of incomplete combustion and these emissions are molecules of partially or unwalled fuel another source of hc emission is evaporative emission and flame propagation hardly occurs at the top of the piston ring and cylinder walls also spark plugs and threads and wall seat so fuel is absorbed by the lubrication oil on the uh, cylinder wall also and fuel is absorbed by carbon deposits in combustion chamber also so a part of air fuel mixture is left unburnt because the flame front stops before igniting all of the mixture and and results in misfiring so fuel is not mixed with air and uh, an excess air in air fuel mixture results in misfiring and high hc emissions nitrogen oxides is formed when nitrogen and oxygen combine during combustion process nitrogen oxides is very harmful um, for humans and animals as it causes respiratory problems lung irritation and uh, pneumonia also so with hc uh, with the hydrocarbons it combines in the presence of sunlight to form photochemical smog now this smog causes many problems like chest pain shortness of breath and coughing and also eye irritation so smog appears to be brownish also nitrogen oxides in the atmosphere mixes with um, water to form hno3 so nox is uh, combined with h2o to form hno3 which is uh, nitric acid and acid uh, rain is created so the nitrogen oxides is only formed when there is a very high combustion temperature and pressure so the nitrogen oxides formation only takes place where uh, after uh, 1200 degree celsius and the only way to control the uh, nitrogen oxides formation is the control uh, of the combustion process temperature so a slightly rich mixture and low combustion temperature uh, minimizes the nitrogen oxides formation but a uh, rich mixture will also lead to increase uh, carbon monoxide and hydrocarbon emissions so while a lean mixture will uh, have a low hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide but a high nitrogen oxide because combustion temperature increases so nitrogen oxides are mostly nitrogen uh, monoxide nitrogen oxide no and nitrogen oxide contributes to uh, greenhouse effect like co2 do so nitrogen oxide means uh, nitrogen oxide no no2 no3 etc just add a number to variable x in nox so like 1 2 3 and result will be no no2 no3 no2 is formed less than 1% of total nox no2 is a uh, toxic gas and contributes to acid rain and ozone and smoke also now let's have a look on emission chart here it's clear that rich mixtures give more hydrocarbon now rich mixture uh, gives more hydrocarbon emission and very low nitrogen oxides hydrocarbons are maximum when the air fuel mixture is uh, 8 is to 1 now as we move towards uh, the lean mixture nitrogen oxides emission increases and nitrogen oxide emissions are maximum when the air fuel mixture is slightly more than stoichiometric ratio this is our stoichiometric uh, point and uh, slightly more than stoichiometric ratio here is the maximum nox value so while hydrocarbons are at the minimum quantity in exhaust and its minimum at a stoichiometric point uh, 
uh, at this point at this point hydro uh, hydrocarbons are at minimum so now we have noticed that the condition to minimize the nitrogen oxide increases hydrocarbon emissions and the conditions to reduce hydrocarbons increases nitrogen dioxides this is later controlled by uh, catalytic converted and will be uh, discussed in upcoming videos thank you